Beta, you're showing your internet age. You know what? Here's the thing. You know what I realized the other day? So I was watching, just on a, on a whim, I was watching one of those restoration videos. There's this channel that does restorations for like old consoles and whatnot. Like they did a, a yellowed and aged uh, Game Boy Color. It looked really good after. <laughs> I know the pain is already setting in, trust me. But what ended up happening <laughs> was uh, they did one for a PlayStation 2, like one of those fat PlayStation 2s. And the PlayStation 2 for me was my childhood console. It is like the first console that I ever invested so much time and money and games into. It was the best console in my opinion. The PlayStation 2, I have one of those fat ones. It was beautiful. And, and the video was titled Restoration of the Retro Game console, PlayStation 2. Never in my life have I felt old. Like, fuck, I'm old. After reading that title, I felt genuinely fucking old. I felt ancient. And that's why when you said my internet age is showing, that's what it was. My fucking age was showing from that one restaurant. Hold on, you know what? Are we going into this? Are we going to have a conversation about gray furs or something? What is a gray fur? Zuka, are you a gray fur? Why did I think of Zuka as soon as I mentioned gray furs? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Zuka. <laughs> oh my god. Or is it gray muzzle? Not gray fur. Sorry. Gray muzzle. That's what it is. I'm fucking sorry, Zuka. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Did I just out you to the rest of my stream? What the fuck? This is everyone being angry at me right now. <laughs> I have never experienced Warzone before, but that is what a Warzone lobby sounds like. Nice. What was I even just talking about? What were we just also nostalgia? Thank you for the eight months. I'll get to these sub messages in a bit. I'm having like a moment. What were we talking about before? PS2, right. And then we we're gonna talk about gray muzzles apparently. And then I just outed Zuka. Zuka, I'm so sorry. I, I love you with my heart and soul. I'll give you more stickers if you want. I'm sorry for just doing that to you. Zuka's not a gray muzzle, okay? Okay? Look, be mad at me. Don't be mad at anyone else. But, Zuka, Zuka, please, uh, please just tell me. I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me. Please, please don't be mad at me. Please don't be angry with me. Zuka is now part of the Elder Council. I feel bad now. Let's, let's go back to the PlayStation 2. I was going to look up the thing. Okay. PS2 Restoration. Yeah, here it was. Odd tinkering. Okay. So going back to what I was looking at and how my fucking internet age is showing, I was watching this video the other day by Odd, Ticker Odd Tinkering, but they titled the video, I restored this junk PlayStation 2 that won't start. Retro console restoration. This was my childhood console. Like this, this exact play, not the exact PlayStation 2, but the model of the PlayStation 2, the fat PS2 was my childhood. Like growing up with Sly Cooper, uh, Sly Cooper. <laughs> uh, oh, fuck. Whatever. What are the games? Uh, Hot Wheels Velocity X. SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Scooby-Doo Night, uh, Night of 100 Frights. All the other Scooby-Doo games. Any of the other SpongeBob games. Other Hot Wheels games. Hot Wheels World Tour. Uh, Sly Cooper again. Because I don't think I played any other games. I didn't play Ratchet and Clank or uh, what's the other one. Jack and Daxter. Yeah, I didn't play too many of the Sony titles, just only Sly Cooper. Wow, I really did have a sad childhood. ATV Gran Turismo 4, I think? ATV? No, that- Fuck, did I just mix two games together? Sorry, fuck. Gran Turismo, I played that. Um, ATV, I think it was the second one. It was like the the, the one where they were- the ATV 2, that's what it was. I played ATV 2, uh, Gran Turismo played that. A lot of these old racing games- so nostalgic. But the point is, these are my games as a child. And the fact that they're calling it a retro console, and this is considered by most as a retro console, was not a great feeling for me. And I'm only 24, okay? You may look at that and be like, oh, 24 is a pretty good mid-age. No, that's still young. I'm still a little babby man, okay? Yeah, retro gaming console? Mm, that feels weird to think about. That was my childhood, and they're considering it a retro console? That was the first moment I, I, I was justifiably able to say, fuck, I'm old, even though I'm not. But that's why when I was just thinking about, like, the hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your grandma, like, whatever that meme was from back when YouTube started, that was the meme when I understood when you 
YouTube was starting. The joke. I started YouTube when the fucking Harlem Shake was a thing. Remember that? The fucking Harlem Shake. That's when I started YouTube. That meme was going around. I remember seeing the original Harlem Shake and then a Minecraft version of the Harlem Shake. Can we bring the Harlem Shake back? Uh, no. I remember that came out my 10th grade year of high school. We did it in class with my US history teacher. Oh my god. How- when did the fucking Harlem Shake- Harlem Shake when? 2013. Nearly a decade ago. I'm gonna be 33 next month. Kill me. Jeez. <laughs> Wait, so Zuka, what was your childhood console? I'm curious. If you're 33, because that was... Oh, Pineapple Fox. One of my best friends in the whole world. He talks about all these retro consoles that he used to play. I can't remember what his first console was, but he just... He goes on about all these old consoles that he used to play as a kid. What was the... What was your first console? Because I, I want to see, like, what the age gap is for, like, consoles. Like, I, I don't think it was PlayStation 1. Or maybe it was. I can't remember. Mine was the Atari. <laughs> oh my god. Oh... My dad had an Atari growing up. An original Atari. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for bringing up the whole age thing again about like how old things are. Super Nintendo after and then Sega Saturn. What the fuck was it called? Sega? It was the Sega Saturn or it was the... Yeah, it was just the Sega Saturn. I'm not calling everyone old, okay? I'm not calling everyone old. I'm just saying, like, I just feel old after hearing the whole thing with PlayStation 2 and whatnot. And I know half of you in chat are like, oh, that's cute. You feel old. Yeah, that's, that's cute, sweetie. Sit, Sit the fuck down and let me tell you about <laughs> me growing up with a Super Nintendo. <laughs> old at the ripe age of 24. <laughs> I'm sorry we're getting into this discussion. Also, I'm hot. I gotta take off this hoodie. It's way too hot in here. Okay, let's get you to your bed, Beta. <laughs> oh my god, you could totally make that meme. Of like, the PlayStation 2 isn't a retro gaming console. And then it's like, okay, Grandpa, let's get you to bed. <laughs> god, where do the years go? It really does feel like yesterday that I woke up on Christmas morning to get Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom and loaded that the first time into my PlayStation 2. My fat fucking PlayStation 2. It's like the resub sound blowing my fucking eardrums out. That's literally it. Like, if you resub, the, the fucking noise, the sound that it makes is the PlayStation 2 starting screen. Like, your eardrums are fucking gone when you started up that console. If you didn't know anything about audio balancing and turning down your, uh, your TV before starting your console, it was bad. It was bad. Your ears were gone. The sound is iconic. Wait, what is Zuka talking about? What, it, what Zuka, I'm sorry. What did I say again? If you are under 30, you are a fetus. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you woke up this morning, Zuka, and you chose violence. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't blame you with the shit that I've been saying for the past 15 minutes. <laughs> hey, what's up, guys? Beta Aiden Deloda here, coming at you live from the womb. <laughs> uh, today, we're playing SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom on my fat PlayStation 2. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be having this conversation today. Oh god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> don't get your... <laughs> Alright, don't get your umbilical cord in twist. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, that's the thing. Everyone calls me like a little baby man, but you kind of have the right to because I really am not that old. Like, most of my friends who are older than me really have every right to. I have absolutely no right to be saying... I feel old when I'm only 24. I'm not, I'm, I'm not officially in my mid-20s. I know mid-20s is like, you know, oh, 23 to 28. No, 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 I don't count that as that. I count it as when you hit 25, that is your mid-20s. Me saying this whole thing of like, oh my god, anyone who's over 30 is a gray muzzle. Nah, who the fuck cares? This is just me being a little shit, by the way. This is how this goes here. I'm old enough to be your father. <laughs> I don't like thinking about that. <laughs> I I just don't like thinking about that. <laughs> but, so like, here's the thing. I don't know why I'm segueing into this. But like, can we talk about gray muzzles real quick? First off, 
two things. What really qualifies as a gray muzzle? Why is that a term, first off? Second, why are people using it as a derogatory term? And why is it on that, you know that little wheel of like problematic topics in the furry fandom? I tweeted it out before. Hold on, hold on, here it is. It's not actually on it, but it's considered, I guess, another problematic topic, but that's mainly the very, very young furries being angry at it. But like, for, for the record, I tweeted this out earlier in the week because I saw some debacle going on about like, um, one of the GOHs for Fernal Equinox doesn't like baby furs. And yeah, the, there, there came an argument about it. And then I tweeted out like, all right, everyone, time to spin the wheel and see what's problematic today on furry Twitter. But in all seriousness, like none of these are are problematic at all actually maybe that but it's just you know get rid of that person but like it's just none of these are bad i mean even replace this with like gray muzzles and apparently this is an argument where that's a problem so let's just let's just back track a bit because i don't know what qualifies as a gray muzzle what is a gray muzzle i know it's someone who is an older individual in the furry community it is a nickname it is slang it is a a label i don't like using that uh for someone that is an aged individual in the furry community what is the qualification gray muzzle is generally considered 30 plus that's fucking crazy what <laughs> How is that? Why is that considered the norm? I've never known what the standard for what a gray muzzle is. A gray muzzle is someone who is over the age of 30 in the furry fandom. Is that what that is? Is that actually true? Hold on. I could literally just Google this, but I wanted to ask you guys first. What is a gray muzzle? Oh, here it is. Wikifur gave a pretty good definition of it. A gray muzzle or gray muzzle is an older furry fan. Okay. It's generally meant as a term of respect rather than an insult. <laughs> Tell that to fucking Twitter. Tell that to the youngins on Twitter that seem to be very uh, vocal about that in the worst way possible. Depending on who one asks, a gray muzzle may be any person involved in the fandom before 1991. Any fan who is over a certain age, 30, 40, 45, or 50, depending on whom you ask. Why is 30? I mean, you know what? Honestly, that's just what I think the kids would think. Kids look at anyone who's over 30 and it's like, ew, you're old. Ew, you're old. Honestly, I was a little shit back when I was like 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm still a little shit now if you think about it. But like, yeah, if I was back then, if I saw this, I would have probably said 30. That's sad to say. That's sad to think about. But originally, gray muzzles meant pre-internet furries. But there are a growing number of decade-long furry muck or alt fan furry users i haven't heard any of these before i haven't heard of any of these before who would easily qualify as gray muzzles in most minds in some related fandom groups a gray muzzle may only have been involved for a few years depending on how young they are generally a gray muzzle is a long-term fan who is also over the age of 35 okay so the age is up in the air but the consensus, at least for most people, mainly young Twitter users, in my opinion, I don't know if this is a, the correct stereotype, but younger furries have assumed a gray muzzle is anyone over the age of 30 who is a furry. So Zuka, I don't mean to say this, but if you asked anyone under the age of 17, probably, who is a furry, if they thought you were a gray muzzle, chances are they would say yes. Chances are they would say you are a gray muzzle. However, if you were to ask me or anyone who has some level of maturity, I'm not saying kids can't be mature, but just, I don't know, just based on internet consensus, I would say from a rational standpoint, Zuka, you're not a gray muzzle. I'm gonna be honest. I know the whole gray muzzle thing is like more of a joke that the older furries use. I think personally, this is my hot take here. Gray muzzle should not be a term that others give to someone. It should be something that those who are in, I guess that age range of being old should be able to give to themselves and joke about it. You know, it's like the whole thing with like saying someone is a furry or saying someone isn't a furry. Like, you don't tell someone, oh, they're a furry based on their interest in anthropomorphic animals. No, that's fucking dumb. You don't tell someone they're a furry, they decide it then and there if they want to be a furry or not. You don't fucking decide for them, they decide it. That's why when someone says someone else is a gray muzzle, that's like the same thing as saying someone is a furry. It's like, what the fuck? No, they 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 sort of make that on their own terms. Remember that old video that I talked about, about like, uh, you know, the, the furgatory sort of thing? Remember the furgatory? That was interesting. I did that talk as a means of saying, hey, people can be interested in anthropomorphic animals, but not be a furry. 
A furry is a term that someone sort of adopts for themselves. Like they say they're a furry, they say they're a part of the community. Same thing with gray muzzles, you know? I think if people are old and want to joke about that, then sure. But at the same time, you know, like, if I'm saying, for example, that I'm a gray muzzle because I just saw that the PlayStation 2 was a retro console, I'd get my shit kicked in. That is just kind of objectively wrong. So I don't know. I, I guess there's some labeling of age from there, but at the end of the day, don't fucking go around calling people gray muzzles if they're old. Also, don't call people old. That's kind of just weird and, and, and shitty. I don't know. Unless it's like a joke, but then in, again, like, so that, you know, time and place for everything. Also understanding the person you're talking to and if that person knows you. Like if someone says something really fucking weird to me that only a close friend would say, and I haven't met them before, I'm gonna be like, what the fuck are you doing? Who are you? Who, <laughs> like, who are you? <laughs> what are you, what are you, what are you doing? Look, that's the thing. If you don't consider yourself a gray muzzle, no worries. You don't have to. Don't live by other people's standards, okay? That's the thing that I hate about the term gray muzzle, and I totally, like, agree with stalkers here. I think that, you know, even though there's this label, there's this idea for it, it should be more of a joking thing, like in the article we said. People have used it as a derogatory thing. I guess maybe the younger generation. That's the only, I, I guess, sort of group of people that might not like gray muzzles or aged people in the fandom. I don't know why. Any argument they have really is kind of fucking wrong, to be honest. <laughs> so like, eh. Seriously though, what? That's kind of, I guess, the good thing that's happened recently. I haven't seen any sort of debacle involving gray muzzles or the idea of it. Which is kind of good. It's showing that, hey, people are kind of becoming a bit more sensible, rational, realistic. I think it should just go without saying. If anyone wants the overarching opinion of Beta's take on gray muzzles, because everyone's always curious about it. It's like, oh, Beta, what what are your thoughts on mer suits? What do you what, what do you think about mer suits? Oh, Beta, what do you think about a uh, uh, baby furs? What what's your opinion on that? Shouldn't matter what my opinion is about on it. All of them are fine. It's like that fucking wheel that we had before. Everything on here, besides maybe this, because no one fucking likes the douchebag furry being offensive. Get him out of here. Everything on here is fine. I don't even know why it was a problem to begin with. I just saw this wheel on Twitter. I'm like, that's fucking funny because this is exactly how it works. The whole pup hood argument was, was a Twitter drama argument from like a year ago and it's happening again. It's like the, uh, it, it's like if you've watched Twin Peaks, it's like, uh, it's like the giant going like, it is happening again and it's just you know the same thing is happening before spoilers by the way you should watch twin peaks wonderful ep wonderful show by the way but it's just that meme oh my god here's the thing as well this whole wheel it's not even a full thing you could get at least another 25 pieces in here one of these days when another argument like this happens on twitter and i need to like say something i don't need to say something i just thought you know hey if i'm gonna do a video or talk about this on stream i might as well make a stance and say hey this is okay one of these days, one of these is going to be on here again, and it's going to be a drama conversational piece online. I'm going to get a wheel. I will physically get a wheel like this and spin it when the stream starts, and that will be the topic of the stream, and I will purposely put it on whatever is the drama point of the day, which if we're... If, if anything uh, goes, if I know how Twitter goes and how trends come and go, uh, the next big drama piece, I'll bet 10 gifted subs that this'll be it. High selling fursuit auctions. There is going to be probably another fursuit auction happening where uh, where something sells for a lot and, and some big argument is gonna happen from it uh, involving the maker or involving the fact that it was sold at a high price and fursuits weren't bought at a high price. Actually, we had a conversation about it before. When did wh when was the last conversation about that whole Zuri Studios suit? That was last summer too. Yeah, so it's only, it's only a matter of time before this is another argument again. Eight months at least, eight month cooldown. So yeah, high selling fursuit auctions is gonna be the the next big drama talking point and you are welcome to uh bash me if i'm wrong but that is the case that's my take on it but i did i miss anything with this whole conversation oh yeah i didn't actually give the whole take uh what is my overarching opinion of uh gray muzzles they're, they're okay they're fine i don't know why they would why that would need to be an issue to begin with in fact i think any sort of problem with gray muzzles is kind of incorrect in general so th there you go there's my there's the take of the day gray muzzles are okay whoa gray muzzles are basically the reason we have the furry fan in the first place like exactly that's just, like here's the thing if it weren't for people who know their way around the block who know their way around doing shit we wouldn't have furry conventions it's just older folks running furry conventions don't fucking bash 
graver is because you want a, a very young fandom. This isn't fucking Neverland, my my dude. <laughs> this isn't fucking Peter Pan. This isn't fucking Peter Pan. <laughs> We're like, it's only young kids and you never age. <laughs> but yeah, point being, gray muscles are fine, baby furs are fine, pup hoods are fine. I don't even know what we're arguing anymore. I think I'm just kind of arguing about the, the overarching issue that Twitter is Twitter and people have some really fucking bad opinions, really dumb opinions. Also, they value Twitter. Who the fuck values Twitter nowadays? I just go on there to shitpost and say a meme and let people get angry at me because that's how the world works. So yeah, um, I think that's it. I think that's our whole argument on gray muzzles. Wow, we managed to uh, sort of bump out another video topic that people have wanted me to talk about for a while now.